Hello grade 8 students, it's me again, Mr. Alexis R. Osorio. At ngayong araw na ito ay pag-uusapan naman natin ang adding and subtracting rational algebraic expressions with unlike denominator. Simulan natin ito sa addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions. Ang dissimilar fractions ay ang mga fraction na kung saan ang kanilang denominators ay magkakaiba or hindi magkakaparehas. For any real numbers A, B, C, and D, B is not equal to 0, D is not equal to 0, we have A over B plus C over D equals A times D over B times D plus B times C over B times D is equal to AD plus BC over BD. A over B minus C over D is equal to A times D over B times D minus B times C over B times D is equal to AD minus BC over BD. Let us try to add or subtract the following dissimilar fractions. Example number 1, 3 over 4 plus 2 over 3. Ang denominators nila ay 4 at 3 at masasabi natin na magkaiba sila. So therefore, these fractions are dissimilar fractions. So paano natin maaad itong dalawang fractions na ito? So first is, let us make the two fractions as similar fractions. Okay, para maging similar fractions sila, una, kunin natin ang LCD or least common denominator. Okay, so maraming paraan kung paano makuha ang LCD. Pero ang gagamitin natin ngayon is by using the list of multiples. Ililista natin ang multiples of 4 and 3. Okay. So, ang multiples ng 4 at 3, uh, i-multiply muna natin sa 1 ang 4 at 3. And then, second multiple ay uh, 8. 6. Third multiple, okay, we will have or we can just multiply the numbers by 3. Okay, we have... 12, 9, 16, 12. At kung mapapansin natin, uh, pwede na tayong tumigil dito sa pang-apat na multiple natin dahil may nakita na tayong magkaparehas. Because we are looking for the least common denominator. Okay, so or uh, pag nakakita tayo na magkaparehas, yun na ang ating magsisilbing LCD. So therefore, the LCD is 12. Saan natin gagamitin ang LCD? Okay, makinig mabuti. Okay, so dito sa first uh, fraction natin, 3 over 4, tignan natin yung denominator which is 4. I-divide muna natin yung LCD sa denominator. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Kung 3 ang sagot dyan, therefore, we are going to multiply the fractions into 3 over 3. Okay, malalaman natin kung bakit. Okay, so next, ang second fraction natin ay 2 over 3. Ganon din. Tignan ang denominator. I-divide si LCD sa 3. So, 12 divided by 3, magiging 4 ang sagot. We need to multiply this fraction sa 4 over 4. Ginagawa natin yan para maging similar fraction. Yung dalawa. Okay. So, paano maging similar fraction? Let us just multiply the two. Okay, first, dito muna sa part na ito. So, 3 over 4 times 3 over 3. Ang mangyayari dyan, 3 times 3, numerator times numerator, that is 9, and then denominator times denominator, 4 times 3, naging 12. So, dito sa first part na to, 9 over 12. Let's go to the second part, which is 2 over 3 times 4 over 4. The same process. Numerator times numerator, 2 times 4 is 8. And then denominator times denominator, 3 times 4 is 12. So, nakuha na natin. So, mapapansin natin ngayon na ang fractions natin ay similar na. They are now similar fractions. If they are similar fractions already, mapilis na natin siyang maa-add. Because we will just copy the denominator which is 12 and then add the numerators. 9 plus 8 is 17. Copy the denominator, which is 12. So, therefore, 
the answer is 17 over 12. Example number two. This time, we are going to subtract the two dissimilar fractions. 4 over 5 minus 1 over 4. The denominators are 5 and 4 at sila ay hindi magkaparehas. So, we will make the fractions into similar fractions first. And then, para mangyari yun, we will get the LCD. At ang paraan ng pagkuha natin ng LCD dito ay by using the list of multiples. Okay, 5 and 4. So, the multiples are 10, 8, 15, 12, 20, 16, 25, 20. So, ang multiples ng 5, we have 10, 15, 20, 25, so on and so forth. So, 4 naman, we have 8, 12, 16, 20. Pero, pwede na tayong tumigil dito. Because, we already, uh, uh, meron na tayong makikita dito na magkaparehas, which is 20. So, therefore, the LCD is 20. Gagamitin natin yan dito sa susunod na step. So, kopyahin natin yung first fraction which is 4 over 5. I-divide natin yung LCD sa denominator which is 5. So, 20 divided by 5, that is 4. I-multiply natin sa 4 over 4, ang first fraction. Minus, the second fraction is 1 over 4. Yung 20 na LCD, i-divide natin kay 4, denominator ng pangalawang fraction. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Meaning to say, we will multiply the second fraction sa 5 over 5. Para sila ay maging similar fraction. Let us uh, multiply the first part. 4 over 5 times 4 over 4, we have 16 over 20. Second part is we have 1 over 4 times 5 over 5. So 1 times 5 is 5. 4 times 5 is 20, that is 5 over 20. They are now similar fractions. Mabilis na kapag ka similar fraction na sila dahil you will just subtract the numerators and you will copy the denominator. Ang denominator nila is 20. Ang numerator naman, 16 minus 5 is 11. So, ang magiging final answer natin dito is 11 over 20. At kung ang ating sagot ay pwede pang i-reduce sa lowest term, uh, you can uh, reduce it to lowest term. Okay. So, 11 over 20. Next. So, this time, we are going to add and subtract rational algebraic expressions with unlike denominator. So, we have the first example here. 5 over y plus 3 over x. Okay, so ang paraan natin ng pag-add at pag-subtract ng fraction with unlike denominator is also the same sa pag-add at pag-subtract ng rational algebraic expressions with unlike denominator. Una, tignan ang denominator y at x. Let us get the LCD. Kung ang ating denominators ay y at x at wala na silang uh, ibang uh, factor except the variable itself and 1, we can simply multiply them. So, the LCD will be xy. So, yun ang ating LCD. So, ito ay isa pang paraan para makuha natin yung sagot. So, write the LCD at uh, the lower part or the, in the denominator. So, next step natin is divide the LCD by the first denominator and multiply to the numerator. So, paano ba yun? Ang una natin gagawin is LCD divided by the denominator of the first fraction. So, XY divided by Y. Bakit divided by Y? Kasi yun ang first denominator natin. So, dito... Pag i-divide natin sila, we can cancel out y. 
because y divided by y is equal to 1. Ang natira na lang is x. And that is our first answer here. And sabi dito, we need to multiply to the numerator. Ay, ang numerator ng first fraction ay 5. So, multiply natin by 5. Magiging 5 times x. Next, nakuha na natin yung sa first fraction. How about in the second fraction? The same process. So, lagyan lang natin ng plus because this is addition. Divide the LCD by the second denominator and multiply to the numerator. Same process. Ang LCD natin is xy, but this time, the denominator is x because the denominator of the second fraction is x. Let us divide them. We can cancel out x because x divided by x, ang sagot ay 1. At ang natira na lang ay y. So, we will write y here. At ang sabi dito, multiply sa numerator. At ang numerator ng second fraction ay 3. So, 3 times y. Nakuha na natin yung sa step 2 at sa step 3. Next, we will just simply multiply them or simplify. 5 times x, 5x. Plus, 3 times y, 3y. And you will just copy the denominator, which is xy. Okay, so ito yung ating naging uh, simplified form. At kung mapapansin natin, wala na siyang ibang, fa uh, ibang factors. Therefore, this is the simplest form also of our answer. Pero kung mangyari na may nakita tayo na pwede pa palang i-factor at meron pang masisimplify sa lowest term, just do it. Simplify as needed. So, therefore, in this case, the final answer is 5x plus 3y over xy. Example number 2. We have 1 over 5x squared minus 4 over 15xy cubed. The same process. Tignan ang denominators. Ang denominators ay magkaiba. So, first, let us get the LCD. To get the LCD of these uh, denominators, we have uh, 5x squared y, 15xy cubed. Ang paraan naman ng pagkuha ko ng LCD dito sa pagkakataon nito is we will factor out the 2. So, ang factors ng 5x squared y, we have 5 times x times x times y. Pangalawa, 15xy cubed, ang factors nyan, 5 times 3 times x times y times y times y. Kung kanina, uh, gumamit tayo ng list of multiples para makuha yung LCD, dito naman, gumamit ako ng prime factorization. Okay. After natin ma-factor ang 5x squared y at 15xy cubed, Kunin natin ngayon lahat ng magkakaparehas sa dalawa. Ililista lang natin sila as 1 or we counted as 1 lang sila. Just like 5, 5, counted lang siya as 1. X, X, counted lang siya as X. Y, Y, counted lang siya as Y. Sa pagkuha ng LCD, isinasama natin kahit wala siyang katulad dun sa kabilang uh, number. So, kabilang din yon Katulad ng 3. Kabilang ang 3. Kabilang din ang x. Kabilang din ang y. At ang isa pang y. Kapag ka nakuha na natin silang lahat, we will just multiply them to get the LCD. So, 5 times 3 times x times x times y times y times y. The LCD is equal to 15x squared y cube. So, ito ang ating magiging LCD at ito ang gagamitin natin as our denominator. 15x squared y cube. Ayun. Sunod, we will have the second step. Divide the LCD by the first denominator and multiply to the numerator. Katulad nung nauna. 
Okay, ang given natin sa LCD ay 15x squared y cubed. Ang first denominator ay 5x squared y. Factor it out. At ang factors ng numerator, we have 5 times 3 times x times x times y times y times y. Ang denominator naman natin, which is 5x squared y, we have 5 times x times x times y. Cancel the common factors. We have 5, 5. x and x. Another x and x y and y. Okay, so let us write the remaining factor because that will be our answer. Sa numerator, meron tayong 3y squared. Sa denominator, wala na, so that is 1. So the answer here is 3y squared. So ito ang isusulat natin sa part na ito. At multiply sa numerator ng first fraction which is 1. Next, minus uh, step number 3, divide the LCD by the second denominator and multiply to the numerator. So this time, sa second uh, fraction naman tayo, or second uh, rational algebraic expression, which is we have LCD divided by denominator of the second fraction. 15x squared y cubed divided by 15xy cubed. Factor natin ang numerator and denominator. Ang numerator, 5 times 3 times x times x times y times y times y. Ang denominator, we have 5 times 3 times x times y times y times y. Cancel the common factors. Cancel natin si 5. Cancel natin si 3. x, y, y and y. Ang natira na lang is x. So, x is our answer here. Yan ang isusulat natin dito. And, multiply natin by the numerator. Ang numerator natin is 4. So, that will be 4 times x. Now, nakuha na natin yung sa uh, upper part or sa numerator part ng ating rational algebraic expression. Let us just multiply them. 1 times 3y squared, 3y squared. Minus 4 times x, that is 4x. Just copy the denominator which is 15x squared y cubed. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin, uh, Wala nang pwedeng i-factor sa numerator at wala na rin pwedeng i-factor sa denominator, meaning to say, this will be our final answer. But, if in case na pwede pa pala silang i-factor at pwede pang may makancel sa numerator and denominator, simplify as needed. But in this case, this is now the final answer. 3y squared minus 4x over 15x squared y cubed. Okay, so I hope you learned something on how to add and subtract rational algebraic expressions with unlike denominators. Okay, so 
uh, with this uh, in this lesson, I use the book Grade 8 Mathematics Patterns and Practicalities under Gladys Sinivera, PhD, as my reference. If you have comments, uh, if you have a message or something to say about the lesson, just comment down below and I'm going to answer it. So that's all for today. See you on my next video. Goodbye!